All right, on today's agenda, we got this Dodge Charger. And we got, bam, we got the Dub Ballers. Uh, these are 22s. Uh, 22 by, I think, 10s all the way around. And we got the 265 35-22s. Uh, he bought these a while ago. He just had a blowout on one of the tires, so we just put this tire brand new on there. Uh, so on today's agenda, we're going to show you how, uh, see how the curb rashes, we already touched them up a couple of times, but uh, on black wheels, um, we could uh, we use this special paint uh, to touch up the wheels. It's actually like pinstripe paint. So you can see how the wheels are right now with all the curb rash. Got the armor all on all the tires. See, I think this back one is the worst. So uh, this one has a. This back one's the worst. I think you hit a curb pretty bad on here. So stay tuned, and uh, we're gonna touch them up, and then you'll see the after after how it looks. Sometimes, I mean, if it, I'm like, I don't. He doesn't have time right now, but like this. You could see it sometimes I grind it down and make it smooth so then it's less noticeable. But he curved these so many times that he just wants them touched up. So let's get to it and then I'll show you the after math of the wheels. All right, we're back with the charger here and we touched up the wheels. This one wasn't too bad on here, but you don't see any more silver aluminum behind the wheel. So this special touch-up paint. I'm not going to reveal my secrets because everybody will, will take them away from me. So <laughs> uh, this wheel was the worst back here. So you got the nice black on black, just like the Challenger we just did. See, this one was. Remember how bad this wheel was? Uh, I mean, you could still kind of see it, the curb rash. But if I sand it down, I told him about it, and he's going to drop it off one of these days, and then I'm going to smooth it out, and then you won't be able to tell at all. So this one, remember this one had a big blotch over here where he hit a curb, so you can't even see it anymore. So that's the tidbit and the secret of today, touching up wheels. Stay tuned for more builds. Let me pull it out so the customer takes his vehicle. Appreciate the support. All right, so we're back with another video, and we got this Cadillac, and we got, bam, we got the four Giatos. Um, I forgot the name of this wheel. Uh, but it was custom painted with the white with the white lip we got the black rivets and the black windows you gotta have the floating caps on there I think this is us so we got 22 by nines in the front and 22 by tons in the rear Let's see the nice concave and what is this a CT? CT5, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Did this car a while ago. Uh, it's just it's a cool color. First, they originally got them brushed, and then uh, uh, he painted them white. So he always likes remixing it. Uh, what do you guys think in the comment section on the Cadillac CT5? The ECLs. Mm hmm. Got the red calipers. A nice color combination. CT6. So you can see the concave. I get out of the center. So a little better lighting. Let's see how the ECL goes further in in the back. Beautiful stance on this car. All right, appreciate it. We're gonna put their stock wheels back on there. Uh, they want to, so they don't mess up the Ford Giatos. Kind of late in the season, but we gotta get her done. All right, stay tuned. All right, so we're back with another video, and today we have a Toyota Toyota Corolla. Actually, this is a Toyota Corolla hatchback. And Toyota's been going their thing on this thing. I remember the Corolla's a little car with no curves. 
They have nice curves on there, and it is a hatchback, so I think it looks more sportier. I like the lights. Let's check out the hatchback. Oh, yeah. For people in the video, I don't know if you guys like little cars, the Toyota Corolla. This one's kind of cool. It comes from the factory, I believe, with 16s on there. Uh, yeah, 16 inch. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think in the comment section on the Toyota Corolla? This is a brand new 2023 hatchback. I guess he said they're, they're rare at the dealership and they barely get them in. But as anybody knows in the comment section, we got these platinum wheels. And that one, it is a weird bolt pattern. It's a 5x100 which is usually like Subarus and stuff like that, so it's a little harder to find wheels. And you even with the platinum wheel here. Platinum. All gloss black, the platinum. I forgot what the name of this wheel is. It is the 459 Retribution. So we're about to take out the sensors out of the original wheels. On newer cars, I'd rather do the same specs. I think I went a little bit wider on the tires. Uh, I think it calls for a 205. Um, I did a 215. I usually like the wider, you get better traction, so I only go up a little, so I don't want to touch anything on there. So uh, I think he said he wanted red calipers to match it on there. So we're gonna do the red calipers and get this car rolling. All right, so stay tuned, and we'll check it out when we get the wheels on it. All right, so we're back with the Toyota Corolla. Actually, I see the cool lights on this. I didn't record that. How they make these lights pretty far back and almost straight to the grill. And the 2023 Toyota Corolla, and we got, bam! We got the Platinum Retribution on there. We got the two... 15 45 17 got the red calipers i was going to do black lug nuts but there was chrome on the cap so i went with the chrome to offset the black on there what do you guys think in the comment section let's take a look at this interior too there's the rear um you could probably do staggered actually stagger might look pretty good on here but uh he wanted the same all the way around let's take a look inside this thing how it looks it's got a pretty big screen in here. A lot of room. What do you guys think in the comment section on the 2023 Toyota Corolla hatchback? I think it's uh, SE. He is going to tint the windows on there. Match the black, that's why I want with black wheels. He didn't want to take off his license plate cover, but I told him that if you, uh, you take out the front license plate, I don't know if they passed the law in Illinois, there's somebody in the comments section, that you don't need a license plate. I know they're trying to do with no front license plate, but I don't know if it passed through. Uh, but I was about to take it off, and then he's got like four holes inside there, so I'm sure he doesn't want to probably take it off. I told him about the holes, so. All right, so let's see some driving footage of this Toyota Corolla. there. So we're going to take it for a ride around here and around the block make sure everything's 